Hey physics fans, this is Mr. Rosentis again, and I'm still on chapter 4. I'm on page uh, 26. I'm still talking about Newton's, Newton's second law. What I'm going to do is, is address uh, the net force. So I'm going, to, I'm going to try and determine the net force from this free body diagram. Free body diagrams are the basis of every uh, problem that we work in this chapter because what we do is we identify the forces acting on a body using these vectors. And the magnitude of the vectors is usually illustrated by how long those, how, uh, how the, the magnitude of the force is illustrated by how long the vectors are. Now, for this for this first problem, we we just have a, we just have a block sitting on a uh, sitting on a surface, it's a frictionless surface that doesn't that doesn't uh, affect us much. We're just interested in what the normal force is. Um, frictionless surface is going to interest us if we're moving um, in the in the x direction, but really we're just interested in what's going on in the y direction if we're going to try and find normal force because normal force is the one that we don't have here. Well, finding normal force shouldn't be a problem. The, it should be fairly simple. The reason normal force should be fairly simple is because it's not moving. It's not moving up or down. Um, it's sitting still. And because it's sitting still, we, we know that all the forces in the y direction equal zero. So if all the forces in the y direction equal zero, then all we have to do is find out what all those forces are and set it to zero and solve. So that's how we're going to do it. So we have the forces in the y direction equals equals zero. So we have the force that's applied. We have the force that's um, applied plus the force that's normal. The for the normal force here. And what we want to do is we want to we want to this ne this is going down so this is negative all right now whoever made up this did not put the negative on here but it, it this is going in the opposite direction we remember that in our two dimensional motion uh, chapter so we're going to take away the these two from the force of gravity all right and all that should equal zero so here's gravity. So we know that the applied force, the applied force is just going to be the y component of this vector. That's going to be the applied force in the y direction. Well, force apply in the y direction is simple enough. That's that's just force apply, and I'll put a y there to indicate that we're talking about the y direction, equals the sine of the angle of the angle times the magnitude, which is 50. All right? And we know that by now we've been doing this enough that the sine of 30 is 0.5, so 0.5 times 50 is just uh, is, uh, 25. So this is going to be 25 newtons is force apply in the y direction. All right, there's a comma. All right? So, we know force apply in the y direction is 25 newtons, and but we don't know normal force. We know force of gravity is 100. So, in order to f figure this out, hmm, all this is set to 0. Well, it looks to me like the the normal force has got to be 75 because it's not moving up or down. So the f the force normal has got to be 75 newtons. All right. The second one, the second one is a little bit more is a little bit more involved. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at some of the we'll take a look at some of the forces here. What do we know? Well, we have an applied force. So with this applied force and with this angle, we will we'll be able to get the y component again. So we should be able to get normal force. We should be able to get the, the x component. That shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to get the gravity force because we know kilograms. So that should be simple enough. So we should be able to get this. We should be able to get this. And then 
the, the friction force might be a new equation for you. The friction force is the normal force times mu, and we've got mu. All right. Well, let's let's get cracking then. We have we have the force of gravity equals mass times acceleration. So we have the force of gravity equals 10 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Therefore, our gravitational force is 98.1 newtons. So we could 98.1 newtons is our is our is our gravity is our force of gravity. So we'll go back to what we did last time with regard to with regard to forces in the y direction because because there's because it's sitting on a surface it's not moving up or down. Uh, we'll have force of y is zero. Um, all the forces in the y direction are zero. Therefore, the force of the normal force plus the force applied, and that would be in the y direction, of course. So I'll put a comma there. Y uh, plus this gravity, which is really negative 9.8. I'm sorry, 98.1 newtons because this is going down and this is going up. So those are op those are going in the opposite direction. That all that all equals zero. Um, remember, this is force of gravity. I got ahead of myself, didn't I? Um, so the applied force in the y direction is just going to be uh, sine of uh, 30 times 60 newtons and the sine of let's see the the, uh, the sine of 30 times is going to be is going to be 30 newtons so Thirty newtons. So we have thirty newtons, and so now what we have to do is solve for force of normal, and now all we have to do in order to get that is subtract these two. And when we subtract these two, we'll get we'll get sixty-eight point one newtons. I just subtracted thirty from ninety-eight point one because this, because these two things have to add up to zero because it's not moving up or down. All right. Now the new the new equation that you you might not be uh, aware of is uh, force of friction. Force of friction equals mu sub k. This is this is kinetic friction times the force normal because you have to overcome that normal force in order for it to move. So mu we know mu has been given to us is 0 0.3 and that's an that's a unitless number it's just, it's a it's a ratio times the normal force which we just got we just calculated that and so if we multiply these two together we get 20.4 newtons so that's going to be our for, that's going to be our friction force 20.4 newtons all right now Um, the now what we need to do is find out the um, x component to find to to see what the net force is. The x component or force applied in the x direction is going to be cosine of the of the angle 30 times six times 60 newtons. My apologies, I'm struggling here a bit. 60 newtons equals 52 newtons. So that's going to be our force applied. Now that's going in this direction, right? 52 newtons. Well, it's not the net force. It's sort of like uh, we have 52 in this direction and we've got 20 in this direction. So it's like I got $52 but I owe 20. So the net force is I'm going to have to subtract those, aren't I? I'm going to have to subtract uh, 20 from 52, and if I do that, it's 31.5 newtons, because this is going in the opposite direction as that. So this came from uh, 
I had to subtract 52, take away 20.4. That's how I had to get that. Um, now acceleration, that's simple enough. Force equals mass times acceleration. And we have our net, fo we have our net force now is 31.5 newtons equals, and we know the mass, which is 10 kilograms, times acceleration. Well, it looks to me like all we're going to have to do is move the decimal, doesn't it? Because we're going to divide both sides by 10 in order to get, a, a, in order to get that acceleration by itself. So, force, um, excuse me, we're looking for acceleration. Acceleration is equal to 31.5 divided by 10, those are newtons, 10 kilograms. And, uh, and so that's, that's just going to be, we're just going to move that decimal, it's going to be 3.15. 3.15 meters per second squared. All right.